why are oceans why oceans deep inside are cold but as we go deeper in land it becomes hot that's a great question now, now why don't why don't teachers allow kids to ask such questions it's a very fundamental question looks very simple but it's a great question right so let's say you are on the surface of the ocean in a boat let's say at the equator at the equator at the equator the, if you put your fingers in the water if you, if you dip your feet in the water it's going to be warm water nice and warm okay at the equator but let's say you you go you dive under the water with equipment obviously the deeper you dive the colder the water gets you go a kilometer down it's going to be much colder you're going to you go even way further down it's going to get colder and colder of course there's something there's a, there's a, a limit at to which it can become cold but the main thing is as you go deeper inside uh, under the ocean it gets colder and there is something called the thermocline and, and so on i will not talk about that so that is what we know as you go deeper under the ocean under the water it gets colder even in lakes even in lakes but as you go deeper underground it gets warmer and hotter and hotter why is it so so it all depends on what is the source of the heat what's the source of heat when it comes to oceans and lakes then what's the source of heat when it comes to going underground big difference there when it comes to oceans the source of heat is the sunlight the sun okay so the maximum sunlight is at the equator which is which is why oceans are really warm at the equator you go to the polar regions there is much less sunlight there which is why oceans are cold and you also have icebergs and what not as you go uh, in the arctic circle and all that okay so the source of warmth of heat for oceans for water is sunlight there is no other source of heat and obviously you have glacial melt water you have water that continually melts from the polar regions and some of it reforms also and all of that is is it it is it obviously becomes part of the ocean and the colder the water is the the deeper the heavier it is which means it it will be found below a certain depth in the ocean so that's why because of these various reasons and because of the only source of heat being the sunlight that and we have night also in the oceans so that's why you have ocean currents and all that and that's why you have the the phenomenon that the deeper you go the colder it gets okay now when it comes to the land the deeper you go underground the hotter it gets why is that it's because underground you have heat what is that heat it is the leftover heat of the formation of the solar system and at the core of the earth the planet there is the core there is an inner core and outer core the, the inner core is solid nickel iron it's believed and the outer core is is molten nickel iron that generates the magnetic field of the earth the, which keeps us alive and then if you go further beyond that you have magma the magma layer and so on so forth okay i'll you can look and look up a, an image a google image of the cross section of the earth so as you go deeper underground you have all of this and that's why you have heat the closer you get to the magma layer and all that and there is another source of heat as well underground which is radioactivity radioactive decay decay of various radioactive elements and isotopes that are found naturally in the earth soil so that also contributes to the heat to the heat of the earth and the deeper you go the more radioactive decay cumulatively makes its presence felt so you have all of these radioactive uh the radioactive element plus the heat from the magma layer and the core of the earth all of that it causes this phenomenon that the, 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 the deeper you go under the surface of the earth the hotter it gets so that's why you have this tremendous disparity the deeper you go under the water surface the colder it gets but over here on land the deeper you go under the land surface the hotter it gets that is what hopefully explains this matter